In July 2012, three bands decided that it was time to take their friendships to the next level and head out on a tour called Call the Cops. The aim of Call the Cops was to put on some great shows, get as little sleep as we could get by on, and above all, party as much as possible. Our first tour ever with DZ Death Rays, and our second tour ever with Bleeding Knees Club. Well, DZ, your club, Bleeding Knees, everyone already knows each other anyway, so it made sense just to do it. After you go on like a tour, everyone's got this thing in the back of their mind forever that, like, you know, now it's like, it's like super friends. I'm not gonna drink out of Gaz and Shoe, I gotta Damn work it. in the morning. Will you drink oh, half a Shoey out of your own boot with me? No, no, It's just been so good, it's so good to be able to tour with your friends, tour with people who really, like bands you really like that are also your mates. Like these guys, everyone can just say whatever they want to each other, like straight away. There's no like holding back. I think that's why they call it Call the Cops as well, because so much shit goes wrong when we get together. Brohan is trying to avoid paying the gentleman who took us here. $104, you fucking kidding me? Bullshit! You were the one that wanted to pull out of my side and say, $104, this is fucking bullshit! Well, I think everyone has been touring for so long, you kind of. It's like a muscle reflex to get to the airport on time, you know? <laughs> you don't really have to think about it, you just end up there. We had to get up at like 4 30 this morning so we could get a flight to Sydney, which is where we are now. Breathless. And I think it's because there's like three different bands and we're all kind of like sharing the headline kind of so it's just like a mix of all of us just going yeah that'll work like you know like it's very and we've all toured together before so it's not like there's no egos it's like oh I'm the, I'm the fucking you know like we're the headline band or whatever it's all just like we're mates you know getting to tour so it's pretty cool. We flew straight to Sydney without sleeping and then everyone just <laughs> smashed Bloody Marys. <laughs> Today we had to get like a 6 a.m. flight and everyone was hungover. And then as soon as we arrived, we had to get like a radio thing and play songs and pretty much just us all acting like retards in a room. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> I was like, yeah. Call the cops, please! I was like, yeah, <laughs> yeah, fuck. This is like awkward radio, 94.5 or whatever. Why is your penis out there? <laughs> <laughs> I hang loose when I'm in the studio. That's hot. Hot. Anyway, um, should we play another song? Yeah. Alright, this is um, Scribe with Dreaming. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, we're pretty obnoxious. I don't think we really thought about like what we're actually sounding like. We, I don't know. I wouldn't like us if I heard what we were talking about, but. I believe those kids like last night in Sydney was. This venue especially is super reckless. I don't know what's. I don't know who runs this place. Hey, <laughs> I don't think they do a very good job. <laughs> There's like. It's exactly what it, like, exactly where it should be with, like, people just diving in, like, it's not even crowd surfing, it's like, it's more of just, like, <laughs> kids diving in feet first, back foot kicking people in the head, like, that's pretty raw. Yeah, man, like, how many fucking 16-year-old kids fit into a venue here, like, that is so reckless. One 
kids seriously laying back in the crowd just like going <laughs> like at the security guard like punching fingers into the security guard like it was hilarious. Five dudes at a time just went in and that was it. There's a 16 year old kid down on stage and took his pants off <laughs> at, like, at like 9 o'clock. <laughs> No, maybe I've had four hours sleep, but like I've done the best out of pretty much everyone. I kind of like it. I like when everyone doesn't have much sleep. They would turn into people, don't they? I just had a long, spoony sleep with Sai from DZ for four hours in the lobby of the hotel because we couldn't get a room yet. I had to just like pass out onto chairs. Simon and Guy can put their feet on these nice leather couches in like a really nice hotel <laughs> on Baton Island. I can only sleep with like one hand on my dick and one hand like in my hair. It's not really like a public sleeping pose. It's the only way I can fall asleep. That's why I said he woke up with a stiffy. I just can't believe I'm still going after like what the four or five hours sleep we've had in the last three days. Not when you do three parties in a row. There's like zero sleep. Uh, yeah, I think everyone's starting to feel, feel the pain of that. Yeah, I'm called the cops harder than anyone last night. <laughs> How did you get so wasted? No, it's because of the concussion. Oh, dude, that's fucking rad. <laughs> I fucking hate this. Man, I saw you hunting so many things. He's just like, I, the only reason he made the whole tour was just so he could go crowd surfing. Holy shit, we're leading these club much. <laughs> I think we always said that. I mean, when it was Hunting Grounds, DZ and us, and even when it was like Bleeding Knees and us, and when, even when June Rats came and played with us, they're always like, we all gotta get back together every year and do this crazy show. I had so much fun, man. Hitting the drum is just a lot of fun. I've only been DJing four or five years now, but of all the shows that we've done in that time, I've never seen like such a good crowd from like start to finish. Come home and play like sold out corner show and like it's not just on the back of us but it's like awesome to be part of that. Oh man I'd do it again and again and again and again. No oh, no no it's a fucking full on party you know what I mean. That's actually why I think it came together. It's just like ultimate party. Yeah I think we're just gonna keep doing it. Not necessarily touring it but just having called the top shows with your club leading in DZ play. Because they're pretty much the three best acts in Australia, so kids will flop that shit. That's my thinking process behind it. They're not the three best acts in Australia.